Hi, and thank you so much for watching. Today I would like to share with you my top 10 spring fragrances. I will also have honorable mentions as always. Uh, so if you're curious, please keep on watching. My first pick would be Anori by Le Couvain Maison de Parfum. And I like to refer to it as spring in a bottle. It does smell like white florals floating in ice-cold mountain river waters. And for granted, they have disclosed only three notes. Cardamom, magnolia and driftwood. But I also get white musk, that fluffy white musk. Extra dose of freshness in it. But not your basic freshy, you know? So I have a feeling they have hidden a dose of aldehydes in here as well. Anori has a nice projection, is long-lasting, creates a huge scent bubble around you. So definitely check this out if you're into white florals with that aquatic touch. My next pick is Bana Banana by L'Artisan Parfume. And Bana Banana has been created by Celine Elena and she is the daughter of Jean-Claude Elena, craft runs in family. Harmonious blend of violet leaf, powdery iris, and different aspects of banana. The banana flower, the banana leaf, and the unripe pulp of banana. So you can expect a unique combination. All that being said, it doesn't smell childish and it doesn't lean cheap. In contrary, this fragrance has an opulent aura around it. There's also tonka bean, musk and amber in the base. A fine powdery banana leaf veil that lingers around you. Thank you to Abby here on YouTube who introduced us to this fragrance long time ago. And actually this is my second bottle as you can see. I already have a little dent. <laughs> the next fragrance that signals to my brain, hey it's spring is Montal Blue Matcha and this is my second sample maybe this will turn into a full-size bottle we'll see we'll see Blue Matcha in my opinion is an underrated Montal fragrance the main notes here are Chinese green tea mate tea and also matcha and I love matcha latte there's also citruses and musk and a little touch of leather just to ground this blend. Blue Matcha by Montal really captures the bitterness of the green tea, the texturized dried mate tea, and that powderiness from matcha. Yeah, uh, this fragrance feels very upbeat, very uplifting, in the same vein as caffeine does to us. Very suitable for spring and summer, long-lasting and nicely projecting. So maybe let's continue with another offering by Montal and it's orange flowers. It's my OG favorite orange blossom, blooming orange tree. This really is a heavy hitter orange blossom perfume. There are honey nuances, jasmine, really remind me of my vacation which I had years ago with my family in Tunisia. And to me Tunisia smells like a thousand jasmine buds, very fragrant, very intoxicating. So Orange Flowers by Montal has to be on my spring list. The next fragrance on my spring list is Anika 6 by Aiden Bob. And I have showed you this fragrance multiple times in my previous videos. But what can I do? If I love something, I'm gonna talk about it, you know? I'm not here to teach you anything. I'm just here to share my perfume journey, you know? So no need to write me hateful comments. The notes listed in the scent pyramid are Sichuan pepper, rose, bergamot, carnation, cinnamon, sandalwood. I don't really trust the scent pyramids on Fragrantica. I really smell hazelnuts here. And Aiden Bob has used hazelnuts in their other scents. So I feel they added a little bit here as well. Yeah, Anika 6 by Aiden Bob. The next pick is from my sample set by Zersha. I can't get over how beautiful they package the samples. So, Asento Overdose. It's on my wrist now. A glamorous, feminine-leaning, 
big, bold, and unapologetically herself. But as it starts to dry down on your skin, it becomes a creamy, fruity musk that reminds me of Kirke and also Erba Pura by Zerzhov. If Kirke had a baby with Jador, the OG Jador by Dior, it would smell something like this. It's very long lasting and has a huge projection. I also wanted to mention a Chanel fragrance. I know it's uh, not niche, but it's 98 euros for 50 ml. But if you're looking for an upscale, freshy Chanel Edinburgh is a very nice choice. It's super refreshing, zesty, effervescent, beautifully balanced scent, freshly spicy, woody, aromatic, high quality cypress with juniper berries. Juniper berries really stand out here. There's lemon peel, eucalyptus. So you can expect this cooling, super refreshing scent. The signature Chanel DNA. The next fragrance is Faton V by Beaufort London. There's this artsy hand with green nails. I don't really agree with the scent pyramid on Fragrantica. As to me, this fragrance has really captured the essence of daffodils, tulips and chrysanthemum. Together with aquatic, cold feel, wet soil and also a seaside in winter and spring. I was born in Northern Europe and I grew up by the sea and I smell a touch of ice cold sea waters, sea waves. So Faton V really triggers childhood memories for me. It feels a bit nostalgic and melancholic as well. Of course, Fatom V has that water element, hence the name. I would also describe this as a signature scent for a nymph, a sea nymph. I love Greek mythology books. The next fragrance that I'm really looking forward to wear in spring is Naxos by Zerzhov. Of course, they have the number one packaging for me. Um, all the smallest detail has been well thought out. Yeah, the opening gives you a nice kick of sparkling citruses, followed by a creamy vanilla and honey together with tobacco. I personally really do not like the lavender, but the lavender note here is so well blended that it doesn't jump out, you know? After wearing Naxos for a few months, I also started getting an almond accord. I guess it's the benzaldehyde that sometimes can smell like almonds and sometimes can smell like cherries. What I love about Naxos is the vibe it creates. It just uplifts my mood when I'm feeling down, when I'm a bit depressed, it somehow immediately uplifts my spirits and the scent rail I guess is the best part. I have received so many compliments and especially from other women so so I guess Naxos could be called a compliment getter as well. I'm looking forward to spring, to the warm weather, fresh new chapter. Another fragrance that signals to my brain the spring has come is Musk Panache by Maison Rebacci. Fragrance has been created by my beloved Maurice Russell, uh, the same perfumer that created Musk Ravageur. And even this juice is in light blue color. <sighs> is one of those, your skin but better. A beautiful fragrant musk. If you're looking for an easy to wear an easy reach niche fragrance for spring and summer, you should really check out Musk Panache. Um, I had a 10 milliliter travel size bottle that I used to carry in my purse last spring. The notes that stand out to me the most are the fluffy white musk, a touch of citruses, tonka bean. I know there's also tamarind. If you're not into heavy heaters, this is probably a good option for you. 
Somos Panache by Maison Rebacci. Last but not least, I also wanted to mention a fragrance that I tried recently, and it's Guidance by Amouage, and it's from their latest collection. Mm, this is a very wearable Amouage. I can even see it being an easy reach for some. Creamy florals with woody nuances, a prominent hazelnut accord. There's also a juicy green pear. This fragrant almond milk that wraps this composition beautifully. The vibe of Amouage Guidance is memorable, intoxicating. It's super long lasting, like 10 hours plus, and had a beautiful sillage for the first hours. So thank you so much for watching. I am happy to welcome you on my channel. Feel free to subscribe, hit the like or dislike button, however you feel. And stay tuned for the part two where I will share an affordable edition of spring fragrances. See you on my next one. Bye.